You're sitting there staring at the screen, hoping for a scare. But the scariest thing is there with you, waiting. In a dark corner or in a dark room, there's already something you're afraid of. You just don't know what. It feeds off of the fear you get from listening to creepy stories. And the more fun you have making your heart race, the bigger and badder it gets. You think you hear it creaking about somewhere, dragging its nails across the floor, or breathing just a little too closely. You'll think you see it looking in at you from a window or a closet. You'll turn the lights off and go to bed, and it will drag its gnarled feet however long it must to get to the foot of your bed. It will reach its taloned hands under the covers to wrap its fingers around your feet. It will feel cold, and then it will feel warm. It will rip the skin off of your foot like a sock and eat it while you bleed dark red into the sheets, screaming from the pain and screaming from the fear. It will pull you to pieces to make you easier to digest, but it will eat your head last, making sure that it can taste every ounce of your fear before you die. But if not tonight, another night, when you're more afraid, more alone, you will see something out of the corner of your eye, and your mind will play tricks on you. It will be dark, and it will begin to get colder and colder until you think you will die from the cold, until you think you will die from the fear. But you'll die from something much worse. Don't believe me? I've been lying down for hours now. It's 5.35 a.m. and there's not much I can do. You know what the worst part about my situation is? I'm in the same room with my parents. They keep looking at me and I can't help but look back and try not to cry or scream. Their eyes are focused on me and their mouths are wide open. There's a strong scent of blood and I feel paralyzed with fear. Here's the thing, the second I make any hint that I'm not asleep, I'm completely screwed. I will die and there's nobody around to save me. I've been trying to think of a way out, but the only idea I have is to rush for the door and run outside, hoping that a neighbor hears me scream. It's risky, but if I stay here, I'll surely die. He's waiting for me to wake up and see his masterpiece. You're probably wondering what's going on. I get ahead of myself sometimes. About three hours ago, I heard screaming from the other side of the house. I got up and went to check on the noise before realizing I had to use the restroom. Instead of doing the smart thing and investigating, I used the bathroom first. I could have gotten myself killed right then from my stupid actions but I actually did my business and took a peek outside the bathroom. There was blood on the carpet. I got very worried and ran back to my room, hiding under my sheets. I tried to convince myself to go back to sleep that it was just some really vivid dream or something, but I heard the bathroom door open. Like the terrified child I was, I peeked from under my blankets to see what was going on. I could see something dragging my dead parents into the room. It was not human. I can tell you that it was hairless, with no eyes and no clothing. It walked like a caveman, with its back slouched as it dragged my parents. But this thing was much smarter than any caveman. It was aware of what it was doing. It propped my dad up on the edge of my bed and made him face me 
It then sat my mother down in the chair and positioned her towards me as well. It then started rubbing its hands upon the wall, staining them with blood, then drew a circle with the devil's pentagram on it. This thing had made what it probably would call a masterpiece. To finish it off, it scribbled a message onto the wall that I could not read in the darkness. It then positioned itself under my bed, waiting to strike. The scariest thing now, my eyes have adjusted to the darkness, and I can read the message on the wall. I, I don't want to look at it because it's terrifying to think about, but I feel I need to see before I'm killed. I peek at the creature's masterpiece. It says, 